The following program is produced by Project Bait and does not reflect the views of this station. Everybody's wondering where they can find work these days in the city of Detroit and around the country. Well, there's an organization called the Employment Institute Incorporated here in the city of Detroit that has found sort of the secret. Joining us on today's program is Kimberly Sales, a great name, and so she joins us to tell us about what her organization does for young people and others. What exactly do you do? Well, what we do, Ron, is we teach individuals how to market themselves by um, bringing to the forefront their skills, abilities, and knowledge and experiences and uh, teaching them how to market those skills. We uh, specifically work with the hard to serve population, the ex offender, the ex substance abuser, and the disabled. Uh, we will work with anyone, but we find that that particular population um, are the individuals that need this type of training the most. And let's bring it down the cases here in the city of Detroit. We're talking about a large amount of African Americans, and specifically males, mm -hmm. uh, who are now coming out of the system. Right. Are you going to be serving a large amount of that particular population? Well, we currently service that population through Michigan Rehab Services, and we're working right now in collaboration with um, the Michigan Prisoner Reentry Initiative Program. Uh, the, uh, to uh, we're working closely with them to develop a to streamline our program to assist that particular population uh, with removing the barriers that they will face you know, when they come out of prison. Primarily, the main barrier is that uh, getting employers to hire individuals with a record. And what we do, Ryan, is something that's very uh, unique. We have a business development specialist who is designed specifically for her job. What she does is she develops relationships with businesses. And what it does is it, it, uh, it removes the uh, myth that all ex-offenders are repeat offenders. We develop relationships with businesses so that when they have an employment need, they can call us directly. And we build a bridge and become an advocate for that ex-offender. So um, that's pretty much how we do that. And, and you know, that's interesting that you say that because I understand that one of the major components of eliminating recidivism, that is, mm -hmm. prisoners going back into the system, is community, family, and just basically what you have, a structured focus uh, that gives them an encouragement that Absolutely. they can survive. There is a one part of our program that we have, it's called Employment Readiness, which is the foundational piece of the training. The, that particular program is based on motivation and encouragement. We don't even talk about a job. What we do is we work with that individual in terms of transforming their thinking about work, about themselves, about uh, what their responsibilities are as a, as a citizen and trying to help them uh, segue back into mainstream. Now let's talk about you, uh, Kimberly, and uh, also the um, Employment Institute. You've been in, um, in this business for 19 years or, or longer. Yes. Um, bringing that to the table, do you find that employers respond to you better given your longevity? Yes, uh, because the, the training that we provide is based on real world experiences. When that individual shows up on your doorstep, for a job, the employer is looking for a basic set of criteria and, ex and experiences. And because I've done this for such a long time, um, you know, I, I do have a bird's eye view into what employers expect. Uh, so that helps us to forge relationships with businesses because I can talk the language that the businesses want to hear. When we work with Michigan Rehab customers, they really don't get into the assessments and uh, any of the clinical issues that an individual may have. They want to know, will Johnny show up to work on time each day and give me a full day's work? That's basically what an employer is looking for. Now, if a person wants to get in touch with you, you're located at 1410 Gratian, right in the historic East of Market. Absolutely. So after they go and get a pear or an apple, they can come right. by and see you. Yes, sir. But where can they reach you and how can they reach you? Well, again, we're located at 1410 Gratiot, uh, right across from the Busy Bee Hardware, uh, right at Gratiot and Russell. Uh, our telephone number is 313-285-8456, or they can visit us on the web at www.theemploymentinstitute.com. 
And uh, in terms of the time of the day, what do you stand at eight to five or uh, nine, nine to five? Nine to five. And the training is by appointment only, but we encourage individuals to come in and talk with one of our job developers to help them figure out what they want to do, um, and if they know what they want to do, to allow us to help them package themselves so that they can be more marketable. Well, let me say this. Previous to this interview, we were discussing that the green economy is real yes. and that that's where people are going yes. and that there are, in fact, jobs out there, even though it seems like it's difficult mm -hmm. to find. Yes, there are jobs. Uh, green technology is definitely the way to go. Uh, right now, uh, with the stimulus money, with the no worker left behind, I encourage everyone to look into some sort of green training. Uh, right now, it's very... Um, difficult to find jobs in manufacturing the way that we knew it. It's really dead and gone. Now uh, they're building batteries now out in the Wixom, the old Wixom plant, I believe. They're going to start uh, building batteries out there, green batteries. So I encourage individuals to, to seek out training as it relates to green technology. That is definitely the way to go. And it moves rather quickly as well. And you can refer them if, if they need to know yes. where to go. Yes, we can, yes. Uh, we're going to be working, hopefully in the near future, um, with, on a, with an apprenticeship program um, to assist individuals where we will provide the job development training for that. For My People has been speaking to Kimberly Sales, and she is the president and CEO of the Employment Institute and located right in historic Eastern Market. We thank her for joining us on this edition of For My People. We know it's so difficult for uh, many people to find jobs, and jobs is sort of like a spade for life to survive. And once again, if you want to get in touch with her, uh, we will have the uh, number right here on screen, and you can find out more or about this or any other interview by giving us a look on our website at projectbait.blackgold.net. That's projectbait.blackgold.net. And uh, we thank you for joining us on this edition of For My People. If you have a business in Metro Detroit, you should be in the Detroit Black Pages. For info, call 961-3289. That's 961-3289. Hello, I am Heather Johnson, and I'm a media intern with Project Bait. Our shows are Business in the Black, as well as For My People. I am so excited to work with this team. I have the honor and pleasure of working with producer David Rambo, who I have admired for years. I also have the wonderful Joe Williams as a co-host, Willie McLeod working behind the scenes with us, Will Amos who helps us with direction, and Tony Curtis Fontana who also works with us as well. We're so excited to be able to talk to you and to all of the viewers and have you watch our shows. We've always been here and we always will. We plan to have a long-lasting relationship with our viewers and to continue to have our place in the community. We're always looking for people to be involved with Project Bait. So if you're interested in becoming a media intern, director, you want to work behind the scenes, or you would like to be on camera, feel free to contact us here at Project Bait.